Just one more. This is going to be the best castle in the whole world. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Aww. Luna, it was an accident. That's okay. We'll make it even bigger and better one next time, right, Clyde? <laughs> you can help, Luna. Not now, Jupiter. We've got ourselves a star to find. Huh? There's one. Okay, we found a star. <laughs> now we can build a new <gasps> castle. No, Jupiter. It's way better than that. I'm talking about a star that <gasps> fell from the sky. The star fell down from the sky? Mm-hmm. And landed right here in our backyard. Nothing over here. How about over there, Luna? No sign of the star over here either. How about you, Clyde? Got anything? Uh-uh. But why did the star fall down, Luna? What happened? Did it come loose from the sky or something? Why did it fall? I don't know. But I do know that stars fall. But do they just fall and land anywhere on the ground, like fruit? I don't know. Maybe they all land in one place. Like a big parking lot for shooting stars? <laughs> yeah, like a mountain of shooting stars. And the mountain twinkles a lot during the holidays. I wonder where that shooting star I just saw landed. Where could it have gone? I've got to know. I just got to know. What's happening here? What can it mean? stars fall while they're still turned on? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, because if it were turned off when it landed, we're never going to be able to find it in the dark. I know. We're going to need buckets, pots, and big pans. It's time for another experiment. <laughs> it's simple. We'll spread these pots and pans and buckets all over the ground in our backyard. Why? Do you want to make a nighty-night soup or something? <laughs> <laughs> Negative, Jupiter. We're going to use them to catch a star. If a shooting star lands in one of these pots, pans, or buckets, then we'll hear it. It'll make a really loud noise. Yeah, you're right, Luna. Yay, this is going to be really fun. I'm going to name my star Bigfoot. <laughs> That's an odd name for a star. <laughs> I'm going to call mine Sparkles. <laughs> Why do we need umbrellas? Because, Jupiter, you don't want a star to land on your head now, do you? <gasps> Did you hear that? <laughs> <gasps> we caught a star. And it's alive. It's moving. <gasps> it has 
green eyes. Green eyes, gray hair, and a long furry tail. <laughs> it's just on Pliny, Luna. <laughs> <laughs> I guess no shooting stars in it back here. Maybe one fell, but it didn't make any sound. Yeah! No stars here. Yeah, but there's a ton of them in the sky. <laughs> you arrived just in time, Clyde. It's make-believe time. <laughs> we're going to pretend we're shooting stars and shoot up way up there in the sky and find out once and for all where all of the shooting stars go. Hmm. Hmm. We got parachutes and landing cushions. <laughs> Just in case we crash on some real hard ground. Hmm. Oh no, we're rocks, not stars. Yeah, Luna, I think you messed up the make-believe. Negative, Jupiter. I just asked to turn into shooting stars, but this is a little bit strange. You better brace yourself, Rock Jupiter. Ha, you're about to get rocked, Rock Clyde. I'm cold. Yeah, it really is a bit chilly up here. Maybe we can make a little fire out here. Something's pulling me. Whoa! Well, that's strange. I feel completely normal. Oh, wait, N now I feel not so normal. What's what's happening here? I feel like I'm being pulled to... It feels like we're falling, but so soon? Is it fun and much warmer? Whoa, I'm all lit up, amazing! We're turning into shooting stars. Whoa! My fur! This is the best experience ever! All right, everyone! Ready to turn into meteors? Yeah! We're meteors! This is so cool! Heating up and heading down! Meteoroids are shooting stars. Have you ever wondered what we are? What we are, what we are, what we are. We were asteroids, then meteoroids, now meteoroids. We look like stars you can deny. Sky, heating up and glowing as we fly. We were asteroids and meteoroids, now meteoroids. Some might call us shooting stars, but meteors are what we really are. Lighting the sky as we fall so go when they fall from the sky. Where are you guys going? As we fall through the sky, we break up into little pieces of dust. There's our house, Luna. Let's fall. Goodbye, meteors. I'm a shooting star heading straight to Earth. I'm gonna break into a lot of little pieces. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah! Boom. Shooting stars aren't actually stars, but meteors that fall from way up in the sky. And some get so small that they turn into dust. I thought it was way more fun being meteors than being regular old stars. Right, Clyde? Because it was so great to fall from way up high in the sky, wasn't it? Now we're going to put on the best show ever for someone who's very spatial. Oops, I mean special. Come on, Edson, come on. Hang on, <laughs> just one minute. You're taking too long. 
And just why, might I ask, are you in such a hurry? Because we've got a really big surprise just for you. And it has to do with shooting stars. No peeking, Ensign. Now open your eyes. Hmm? Wow! We're shooting stars! Edson, did you know that shooting stars aren't really stars that come loose and fall from the sky? They're meteors. Mm-hmm. It's time for the meteor show. Meteors, meteor voids are shooting stars. Clyde, you want to turn red. Ooh. Me? Red? I am! <laughs> I'm all red! But why did I turn all red? And why do we turn red when we get embarrassed? Why? Why? So many questions! 